Here we go, water landing in this ginormous plane. What's gonna happen? So I maxed out my company's credit card and bought a triple seven. And this is one of the largest planes in our fleet. Look how close the engine is to the ground. Like that can get devastating real quick. And we did our signature move here and had the tail hanging off the edge into the ocean. Anyways, this is like one of the most detailed planes in Stormworks. Let's jump in this thing and start taking this thing off. Here's just a clear view of what we're seeing. These are some VIP cabins right here. Oh, I can't wait to go back there and tour this. Oh my gosh, you got it be joking there's so many buttons in this thing it did say ultra realistic on the um workshop creation so yeah i can tell since it's ultra realistic do you guys think if i take this off i'm certified to do it in real life maybe it's ultra realistic that's just what it has to mean anyways the first thing we need to click is the apu battery cabin utility apu generator i don't know what i'm clicking okay we're gonna click all the hydraulics we're definitely gonna need those um oh my gosh uh i don't know if we're taking this thing off today okay something started i think that's the apu APU, that's the auxiliary power unit. Um, we're going to turn on the pumps. Is that what we're supposed to do? It's kind of like liking my game a little bit. Hopefully that's the right thing to do. Uh, monitors are starting to blink on and off. I do not know what's going on here. There we go. Okay. Is that what it does in real life? I don't know. Ultra realistic. Um, we're going to do bleed air on both engengines, bleed air auto, uh, turn on the pack flows. Actually, we don't need that. And then of course we need some window heaters because it is going to get pretty chilly in here. We're going to start rising altitude in 20 minutes here once I get this started. Okay. I'm hearing a lot of stuff go on right now. I have no idea like what any of this means. I probably should have had that on. Oh, um, there we go. Okay, so we have no warnings in here anymore besides that. That's not even a warning. But um, as you can see, we're a little bit sideways. This is probably going to be an issue because this thing's wingspan is a little bit concerning. So we might end up hitting that building right there, but that's going to be completely fine because that is not our issue. We're going to be in the air in a couple seconds. All right, so both engines, RPSs are in sync. 11, 11, 3, 3. I have no idea what those threes are. Anyways, we're going to be disabling the park brake, and I think we're clear for takeoff, guys. Oh, there is no way. I totally got this in the air without even looking looking at the checklist like i swear i didn't even peek at it all right here we go we're gonna go on full throttle here oh my gosh there's no way okay uh are we gonna make it so i can confirm we are moving hopefully this thing doesn't have a realistic takeoff distance because that would suck um here we go oh don't tail whip it oh this is amazing this is amazing don't hit the rocks oh my gosh we got this thing in the air and i also like how the landing gears like actually angle we should totally try landing this thing if we don't crash it i don't know how that's gonna go but this is just such an amazing feeling i'm gonna go put the landing gear up hopefully this works all right cool over here like i think no that's like a hawaii airport all these like random islands oh this is a really nice takeoff spot i'm totally gonna save this map seed and use it for later because i just feel like i'm on going on a vacation right now um excuse me what is this door open right here is that a propeller why is there a propeller on this plane can you guys think this thing can go in the water uh we should probably maybe test that i don't know anyways this is like one of the smoothest planes ever i'm gonna be calmly pulling this thing up and this actually feels like super realistic guys all right, so wh where's our, like, L? Did you hold that? So we're gonna go, um, oh gosh. I don't even know what I'm looking at. Okay, adjust up, and then we're gonna, oh, there's working joysticks. Okay, that's the coolest thing we've seen so far. L did you hold is going on, and does it work? I don't know. I'm still able to actually control the plane. Normally, you have to turn on, like, um, autopilot for that. There we go. All right, yeah, so that must have been it. So hopefully, it's going to our L did you hold right now, or we're currently going in for a crash landing. I'm gonna continue rising the altitude hold here, because, oh, okay, it's definitely the altitude. All right, so what kind of cruising altitude should we go at today? I think we're going to go to 10,000. I think at 30,000, we actually start seeing space. Um, do, does it really rise at this angle in real life? No, no, this just looks a little bit concerning to me. Um, hopefully all my passengers are doing fine. Oh, they're doing fine. Yeah. Um, oh, I forgot to turn on the lights back there. I don't even know what to click for that. Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, hold on. Where's my actual like talk to cabin button at? Um, oh my gosh. I'm like flying back here. Uh, where's the talk to cabin? All right. Uh, server interphone, I think. All right. Well, ladies and gentlemen you guys can start standing up right now we are approaching our cruising altitude and the heaters are failing on us that's amazing oh gosh i don't think we need to be at full speed okay we're gonna go to 0 0.80 it does say that is the cruising altitude so we're on 0 0.80 right now and we are at our cruising altitude and we can walk around perfectly oh oopsie daisy we forgot to turn on our navigational lights and our logo lights let's see is there any cabin lights in here i don't think so all right well we gotta find those somewhere oh no smoking and seatbelt you know what i don't think we need seatbelts on right now 
we're at a stable altitude. Anyways, I'm gonna go back here and see what they're doing. Um, oh my gosh, where's the lighting? This is terrible. Is there no lights in here? You know, to be honest, I'm not seeing any actual lights. That just might be how they made it so it's not laggy. I mean, that's kind of cool. I feel like I could maybe handle the lights, but I want to turn on like these RGB things. Oh wait, cabin lighting. I'm blind. Okay, on. There we go. Now this is super cool. So this is what it feels like to be rich. Okay, so I can like see the wings and the giant engines from here. Oh my gosh. I hope you guys are enjoying your VIP cabin flights or whatever this is. So yeah, this is like the ultimate VIP lounge. Definitely better than whatever I could do. Very luxury and modern. This guy's just sipping his coffee while looking over the entire world like he owns it. Then we got our new bartender here. This guy's new because um we had our entire crew die on the last flight, unfortunately, but that's just how it works sometimes. Yeah, yeah, no problem. No problem. All right, so we're gonna turn on the lights for, oh, um, what is this? So main, oh, don't turn that on. Oh my gosh. Okay, I felt the plane like, I don't know what it did there. Okay, so we got a couple options here. In-seat power mask switch on and cooling entertainment on i feel the plane starting to shift you guys feel it? like i'm starting to hit the wall and how convenient is that we even got ourselves a little toilet right here near the emergency exit i think this is like economy yeah this is economy oh i'm sorry i'm not trying to go in your space there so yeah this is economy right here this is where all these people spend some pretty big money also but up there is definitely where the big money's at and then towards the back of the plane here we do have third class i'm seeing a couple heads so it looks like we got some third class people right here i think that's how it works in a plane or do you just call it regular i don't know what you call it i forgot to be honest and then this is a working class economy class bathroom wait did i read that wrong i think i did it's a little bit claustrophobic in here did the first class have their own cabin i forgot and then back here we have gordon ramsay's kitchen this is pretty cool so it looks like i have um almost every kitchen utensil i'll ever need we got a couple buttons here they don't do anything that's fine and then we do have a secret hatch right here this is rch okay that's just short for the back rooms all right so i can't enter it but you know we're in like minecraft creation mode so we're just gonna do some cheating and oh okay well yep back rooms is in this plane confirmed what is this our fuel tank oh my gosh this thing can fly probably forever anyways i better get back up there i'm feeling a little bit of turbulence and I, it kind of looks like the oh what was that i just saw something like fly through the plane anyways what is going on out here oh is that snow hold on yeah we definitely got to go back up there hopefully one of the first class passengers didn't fly us into a snowstorm it was probably them i knew it from the start they were always up to something okay we're gonna go back up here what is going on up here okay so i'm not oh yeah we're definitely in a snowstorm okay enough of this crap we're turning off altitude hold autopilot completely dive this thing down i am not dealing with this today guys i am done with this i'm trying to turn it even more Are those clouds yes they're clouds we're just calmly losing altitude also that wasn't a uh, part of the goal but you know that's just some stuff that happens you now talking about losing control i'm actually starting to lose control like this joystick really isn't having as much uh feedback as it used to too. guys it's starting to get really bad out there i think we chose a horrible day for this look at the water yeah there's not even ships out here i don't think a plane should be out here okay we need to get above the clouds again there is so many storm clouds out here yeah we have to totally watch out for lightning strikes um we're going over there let's go check out autopilot here what kind of autopilot do we have in this thing hmm, i don't know i'm not actually seeing any type of autopilot that this plane has that's kind of unfortunate but this railway right here should lead us back to the main island oh there we go our waypoint showed up 35 kilometers all right, y'all, I'm going to be angling the plane towards that, and then we're going to be having the party of our life. Okay, so how do I hold our current altitude here? Is it trying to gain altitude? I think it is. Yeah, I want to hold, like, the current altitude so we can party on this one. Oh, what just happened? All right, I turned the altitude hold on. I'm going to be putting it up a little bit because that is, like, uh, a little bit low for comfort. Okay, so we're going to do 2200 just like that. Keep angling us towards there. Um, oh, yeah, we didn't need that either way. Well, looks like we've lost the electric for the plane, guys. Oh, this is really bad, guys. Okay, the power going back on i'm sorry i just like blinded that guy with my flashlight okay we go back up here okay i'm sorry about that inconvenience we're gonna be slowing it down a little bit we don't need to be going this fast but all right are you guys ready for the party all right everyone wake up from your vip lounges it is time to party on this plane okay that's the point of this plane so everyone follow me over here yep 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 oh what are we flying through looks like we're crashing now nah, we're fine all right so i'm gonna set all you guys down here this is the good old dance floor sir you need to come over here please stop sliding away from me there we go all right are you guys ready to start partying look at that girl's already having the time for where is she going what the heck lady yeah wait what the heck where did our bartender go what is he doing back there in the economy ew okay we're gonna say you there i don't know what these passengers are up to today she ran towards the emergency exit does that mean something i don't know all right are you guys ready to party okay so i'm gonna open my emotes uh menu here if i keep sliding around and how do i 
open this again. Okay, so we go here, and then how do I start dancing? Oh, this is the best flight ever, guys. I don't know what you're talking about. Why is the plane shifting so much? Oh my gosh, everyone's going to the side. Okay, yep, I think it's about time we start sitting down now. Oh my gosh, what is going on up there in the cockpit? These captains really need to work on their flying. Don't you guys agree? Like, these people suck. Okay, we're just um, trying to make them feel better here. You know, I am the captain, but you know how that works. All right, we're gonna put you there. I accidentally put a uh, first class passenger in economy. I am so sorry, but you're staying there, to be honest. I don't care. We're gonna be bringing this guy up to his economy suite, or actually first class yet. Yeah. Oh, that's a girl. Okay. No. Oh, all right, how's it going up here? I do see some islands. That is amazing. Finally, we got some islands. Oh, uh, oh, looks like we've lost our electricity. Who needs that? Yeah, I thought this plane, um, you know, didn't have issues like that. But there goes our power. It's back on. Anyways, we're going to be coming in for an approach here. I'm going to be turning off all of this stuff right here. And I'm going to be dropping the landing gear. So here we go. Landing gear is dropping on us here. All right, all right. It isn't looking too bad out here anymore. We are currently flying over the main islands. Maybe it's this volcano that's clearing up the air for us. I don't know. kind of looks like it's doing the opposite. We do have a boat down there that's currently sinking. What the heck is that noise, guys? Master warning. Oh, lovely. Um, what's it saying up here? Hold on. Guys, we're getting alerts in here of a fire, I think. Okay, so gear lock, APU fire. Oh my gosh. Okay, where's the APU fire suppression handle? Okay, APU fire pull. Oh my gosh. Activate the APU fire suppression. Here we go. APU fire suppression. There we go. Okay, APU fire is non-existent. Oh, look. I kind of saw some water actually shoot by Behind the plane oh guys wait that's really that's really bad okay uh, i think we need to go back okay bring the landing gear up disable autopilot we've actually lost our apu which means we might start falling out of the air here and we're gonna be activating full throttle here to just double check and make sure we actually don't have that happen to us so we are starting to go on full engaged throttle here i'm gonna be gaining altitude also ladies and gentlemen sorry for the flight inconvenience we've just lost our auxiliary power unit and that actually kind of helps us uh fly the plane a little bit all right we're coming in for our final approach we're gonna be dropping the emergency landing gear here we go oh my gosh guys this is really bad gear lock what does that even mean Did, wait does that mean the brakes are on brakes um i don't know wait a second where's the landing gear i just clicked the deploy landing gear deploy deploy uh oh that's amazing so arm auto brakes uh i don't know yeah do that all right i clicked the uh landing gear extension button it's extended now but i can't actually bring them back in so that's amazing okay so it looks like we got fixed landing gears we got another red thing on our emergency display panel here it says irs internal revenue service what are they doing on this plane nope okay yep taking evasive maneuvers dodge the missiles oh my gosh shake them off the plane does anyone have any weapons on board by chance because we got the irs on board everyone run okay what does that actually mean though disengage um i have no idea but maybe if i try flying like vertical it'll maybe disappear irs please uh disappear i don't know what to click to be honest i don't know well clearly we don't need it because i'm still able to fly the plane i don't know what they're talking about hopefully we don't have people standing up still because i just completely like jolted this thing down where did our bartender go oh he's uh at the back of the plane sir why are you next to a passenger please stop harassing her she's just trying to go on her flight here oh my gosh i'm doing crazy stuff watch i'm gonna completely point the nose down oh my gosh she's in the air okay i'm sorry oh look we got another one l h y d low uh, who knows what that means guys i honestly don't even know what this is trying to tell me right now um any alerts up here so it does say left engine hydraulic fault wait why do you why does an engine even need hydraulics like it's clearly running perfectly fine on here i think it's fine like the engine isn't the part that's actually like turning the plane yeah what the heck like who needs hydraulics anyways we're gonna be pointing the nose down uh what's going on guys i kind of feel this thing starting to have issues does it look like we're going like really slow um oh that's really bad that's really bad um what's going on right now point the nose down wait what happened to the throttle why is it on zero full throttle engage oh we're going down we're going down we're gonna hit the trees we're gonna hit the massive mountain in front of us oh this is really bad this is really bad we're on full speed right now engines are trying to get back up there i don't know if this is gonna work that well all crew brace for impact we have a mountain in front of us we have lost all control of the plane oh this is gonna get really close okay i'm gonna try angling it so we hopefully don't hit the mountain oh it's gonna get close here we go we're just gonna say hello to it hey guys i think i've lost hydraulic power of the plane oh my gosh oh wait there we go Okay, so it looked like it, like, uh, auto 
regained itself because I did not pull up right there. But all right, I have controls back of the plane, kind of. You know, that mountain thing was a little bit scary there, but we're getting another alert here. Um, Same thing. I don't know what that means. Wait, one of them says right. And I think HYD means hydraulic. Oh, no. Oh, geez. I got to let the cabin know of the situation. All right, ladies and gentlemen, please return to your seats. Okay, you know, that sounds horrible. I'd rather just tell them in person. Y'all, I'm losing control of the plane right now. We might have to make an emergency landing. Okay, where's the nearest runway? Can we see any runways from here? I'm not seeing any. All I'm seeing is pure mountain for miles, and I can barely even see the mountains themselves. Oh, guys, this is really bad. I don't know what to do. There's not a single runway in sight, and if there is a runway, it's really far away. Oh, no. There is a river in front of us. We might just have to make the landing there, guys. That's just our last choice. Okay, so um, normally you're not supposed to make a water landing with the gears deployed, but I mean, here we go. Okay, everybody, brace your ears. Ladies and gentlemen, brace for impact. Head down, stay down. Okay, I'm pretty sure they got the point. Here we go. Water landing in this ginormous plane. What's gonna happen? Oh, no. Are you guys ready for a water landing? We're losing control right now. Okay, uh, I'm gonna try buttering this the best I can. I don't know if you can butter a water landing, but, you know, uh, here we go. All right, the water's getting very close. We're gonna start throttling down here. Oh, my gosh. Okay, um, oh, we're just hovering. Oh, there's a boat. Oh, my gosh, this is really bad. You know, he might be able to help us. You know, we gotta think of the bright side here. He might help us. Okay, um, the wing's starting to touch the water. Oh, I thought, I think we should have definitely landed by now. Here we go. Here we go. Here's the water landing. Oh, this actually wasn't too bad. All right, we're in the water. Oh, oh, uh, I thought this thing would float a little bit better. Okay, yep, time to evacuate. I warned them to brace for impact, not to stay in their seats, but here we are. Okay, so you follow me. Also, oh, guys, we're losing this little air pocket here. Where's the emergency exit at? All right, everybody follow me. So I'm gonna start following me. Okay, click that and then follow me. Everybody follow me. Okay, it's time to get out of the plane. Oh, look at down there. Wait, is that a passenger? He must be really good at like holding his breath because he's like just sitting there like nothing's going on. Like he's just not underwater. Oh, okay. Well, never mind to that. Anyways, um, we better get out of here. I just saw some blood. All right, everybody, follow me. Follow me. I don't know where you guys are going, but the plane is filling up with water here. Let's uh, open the bathroom door. That'll definitely help us. Okay, we're in Gordon Ramsay's kitchen right now. How do we open the door? I thought I had more people following me. Where's the rest? Okay, we got three here. Um, Oh, one of them's back there. That's fine. Okay, I'm going to reach down to get the door. Please uh, grab my leg if I fall and die. Okay, here we go. I'm opening the door. Everybody, follow me out of the plane. Oh, my gosh, it's sinking. Everybody. Everybody follow me out. Follow me out. Okay, then we got to go on top of the plane here. Wait, where's that ship going? Hey, hey, loser, come here. Oh, he is driving away. Oh, I wish I had a rocket launcher right now. I'd totally blow that guy out to smithereens, guys. Get on the freaking plane. What are you guys doing goofing around back here? Gosh, I crashed another plane. Wait, no, I didn't crash. It is a medical emergency or something. I don't know. Something happened with the plane and we lost control. I crashed, all right? I would say that's a pretty good landing. Let me know down in the comments, one through 10, rate my landing, please. Please, but make sure you guys go and like and subscribe hit that bell join the discord link is in the description but thanks for watching and goodbye